In this video, we will be discussing changing the look and feel in MotiveWave. MotiveWave provides several options for changing the look and feel of window decorations, a docking framework, and colors. We can make these changes by accessing the Preferences panel, which can be done via the Configure menu, or any of the gear icons found in the upper right or bottom right of the console. So let's start with the dock. So we have General selected on the top row of tabs. On the second row of tabs, we select dock. We have a few options here starting with tab location. Presently by default the tabs are found at the top. We can change that to bottom. We click apply. They're now located here. The tabs also have an optional icon found in front of the name, the tab name. We can turn that off by unselecting show tab icons. Apply. We can also change the page bar location. By default it's found at the bottom of the console and if we select top the page bar is now located at the top of the console. We also have confirm remove page and what that does is if I were to remove a page this flags me and lets me know and asks for confirmation that this is indeed what I'd like to do. So in this case I don't want to remove it so I'll click on no. Okay, so let's move on to changing colors. We'll click on Configure, Preferences, top row, we'll click on Theme. With the window theme, Motive Wave offers you two options, a dark and light theme. Now I'll show you the light theme near the end of this video. If you make any change from dark to light or light to dark, you will have to restart the platform in order to see the changes. Motive Wave also comes with some pre-configured chart themes in which you can change the color of the chart. So in this case, if I select tan and click apply, you'll notice the back changes to tan, or I can change to any of these other predefined colors, themes. Okay, same with bar theme. So let's select red and blue. And we also have here gray if we wanted to. Motive Wave has two options for the buy and sell colors. We have red and blue and red and green. Now, these two here, chart theme and bar theme, you can create your own themes, but the buy and sell colors, you're going to only be able to select from the two here. Okay, so let's move on to creating our own bar theme. Here is the pre-selected list of bar themes, which shows here. Anything that says true under built-in means that these are the default built-in themes. You can create your own by clicking on the plus. And let's call this my bar theme. Now you have the option of selecting dark. If you select dark, then this bar theme will will be uh, will apply to the dark theme. So let's select dark. I'm going to change this to a let's say purple, and the down bar. Let's say maybe a violet. Let's add an outline. Blue and on here. Let's select red. Now feel free to experiment with the other ones here. We're going to click OK. So I've now created my bar theme. If I want to see only my custom bar themes or make it easier for me to access them, then I can always click on built in and mine will show near the top. Just look for the false listing here. OK, let's go over to chart theme. Let's create our own chart theme. My chart theme. Again, if you select dark, this will be a dark theme, it'll apply to dark setting. So the background, let's change perhaps to a dark gray. Maybe no, we'll leave the grid line to a white. Again, with these ones here, I encourage you to experiment with these colors here. Let's click, select dark, click OK. And now if I head over to my themes, you'll notice that my chart theme is available and my bar theme is available. If I click Apply and OK, you now see the changes take effect. OK, so let me restart Motive Wave here with the light theme. Oh, actually, did we enable it? Let's go back, Configure, Preferences, Theme, Change this to Light. OK, OK. Let me restart Motive Wave. Restart it. 
continue. Okay, and here is the motorway platform with the light theme applied. Okay, so that wraps it up for this video, and we'll see you in the next.